Happy Wednesday, everyone. It's August 28th. It's currently 8.40 a.m. Chicago time and 75 degrees. Let's get on into it, see what the guides, the guides would like for the collective to be aware of. I just saw Germany. We've got information, network, mafia, mind control. So something, some new uh, antic going on, remote viewer. Someone could be a remote viewer located in Germany. It's got to do with information, controlling information, controlling people's thoughts, false imprisonment. Could be that mental imprisonment going viral. Some of you could be going viral. Something is going viral. Something is collapsing with this sandcastle. Sandcastle, false imprisonment, Germany, someone could have traveled to Germany recently on the macro level, someone well-known or micro, and now they're stuck there. Something about corrupt local politicians all over the place with this information network mafia. So, um, yeah, but it doesn't matter because God is in control. And we've also got United Kingdom. So United Kingdom and Germany is what's showing up here regionally. Someone could be a corrupt politician hiding their preferences. Something is being, uh, something's going viral. So it could have to do with the hiding the uh, preferences energy that's coming through. So let's get this deck here and see what comes out. You live in God, so there is no singleness, only creation. So continue uh, being mindful with your daily practices, doing what you need to do to get your goals. Some of you could be working on setting new goals, especially with the uh, seasonal change. September is a wonderful month. Crisp air, something about crisp air, getting out, breathing, doing that walk, that 30-minute walk that really gets the blood flowing, something about blood flow. Here we have you embody a childlike trusting heart and understand renewing the spirit and recreating yourself daily. So like I said, daily practices, those things that make you feel really good, moving your body, increasing your mobility, something about mobility. Let's get another card. You are annoyed by the gang stalking, but unafraid. So some of you could have acquired recently a new stalker. You may or may not know this person. <clears throat> you could be seeing them when you go to the grocery store, get on the train, um, more than one person. Or you could just be feeling that energy. There's too much commotion around you. You could be someone that likes to spend a lot of time in solitude. You don't like the disruptions, but you're not afraid. You know that God is in control. They will pay a heavy price for lying on you, a very heavy price. So someone is indeed under harsh judgment. They've lied on you repeatedly. This could be a family member. This could be a job situation, something about your career. Someone tried to stall your career, stop or promotion, stop you from being hired. Here we have angel number 121. Stay positive. You are what you think. You are what you think. You are what you believe. You are protected. You're unafraid. There's something you've recently conquered, gotten over. You're not allowing any of these harsh judgments against you to slow you down. Something about someone wanting to slow you down, intimidate you, make you afraid. You're very defiant. You'll continue to be defiant. You're not going to fall prey to any of this nonsense that continues to go around and around and around. You live in God. God is in control. You're taking control. You've taken control. You've always been in control when it comes to your life. Message of concern. Someone is concerned about your belief system. They know that your faith is so strong it can't be punctured. Something about your boundaries not being punctured. You're not intimidated by the gang stalking. Someone could be very concerned about what's happening to them because they lied on you. They're understanding that you're not someone that should be messed with or controlled. 
you embody a childlike trusting heart and despite all of the uh circumstances that you've managed to come through in your life that might have felt very harsh you've always maintained you continue to maintain this trusting heart this lovely beautiful flowing heart that spirit you are spirit you are re recreating yourself daily doesn't matter what age you are it has to do with this childlike ability to see the world as wondrous so seeing the world as wondrous knowing that you're a part of this world you belong here someone didn't want you to feel that you belonged or that you belong someone tried to isolate you is trying to isolate you all the while watching you all the while lying on you you embody a childlike trusting heart renewing your soul renewing your spirit community many of you are coming into uh, alignment higher alignment so something about higher frequency vibration when it comes to the spiritual community sudden wealth whatever this is it's bringing you in something something's happening suddenly it might take you by surprise you could be moving uh like-minded souls coming together with like-minded souls that all embody this trusting heart this spirit staying positive being around positive people while acknowledging that sometimes things happen that might not feel that great Things can't be all rainbows and sunshine all the time. We know this, but that doesn't diminish how we feel inside when it comes to this beautiful world, Mother Gaia energy. You are annoyed. So someone could have recently annoyed you. You had to really bite back on your temper. Some of you could have a temper. You could tolerate things for only so long and then boop. You know, there might be a little bit of a ruckus, an explosion. Then you feel like you might even have to go back to square one. You know, why did I let this person push my buttons? Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it needs to happen. Sometimes people need to understand that if they continue to breach your boundaries, there are repercussions. So someone's understanding that there are repercussions, harsh, when it comes to how they treat you. <coughs> Most definitely, you are annoyed. So, could, yeah, someone could be annoying you, deliberately speaking, deliberately speaking badly on your name, trying to ruin your reputation. You've dealt with this person before. You might have had to deal with this person harshly. Pathway is sideways. That's that distraction energy. Someone who, <coughs> excuse me, moved opposite of you. And now they're uh, stuck. Someone's stuck. Stuck in your energy. Someone feels trapped, stuck in your energy. Very mental. <coughs> Someone's throat chakra could be acting up. You could have uh, had an opportunity to let someone know how you felt and you kind of held back. You didn't really want to go there. You could be feeling like, you know what, I should have just let that person have it and maybe i wouldn't be going through this or maybe not who knows let's keep going they will pay a very heavy price for lying on you privileged lady in the upright number 12 change change main male high honor mature woman lover's gift thief so I feel like for many of you, you are changing your community because we could just stop at the thief here and go back to this community. 39 is a 12. We've got privileged lady here is a 12. So there's a whole community that is paying a heavy price for lying on you. Someone refused to change this main male, high honor, mature woman, lovers. So these two here could be lovers. They could be in a, a public position, highly, um, how do you say, high value. Someone believes that they're high value, but they're very sly, slick, do a lot of things beneath the surface. You're moving away from that. 
you've always maintained your honor, your integrity. There's something you're changing. Nine and one is a 10. Something's ending, something's starting over. High honor, divine number seven, when you break it down. This mature woman could be a ancestor. This could be your energy. This lovers could be a contract, a partnership. Someone sees you as a gift. There are a lot of different ways I could read this energy. I'm going to put these cards back. And I think we'll get another round. So someone wants to go another round with you. They're tired of shadow boxing in the dark. They want to have a face-to-face -face meeting. Message of concern. <clears throat> You live in God. Someone is able to see your power now. They weren't before. Something had been hidden from this person. This is an adversary. Adversarial. Distant horizons kind of landing next to community. So some of you are indeed moving. This could happen suddenly. This could feel like a, a forced move. Something that you didn't plan on doing. But once you've gotten to where you need to be, you're going to look back and be like, you know what, this needed to happen. I needed this push. Someone is in the distance watching you. They're concerned about what they're seeing you do. Someone's got other people watching you. They aren't getting the messages that they thought they were getting. Somebody thought that they had done enough damage to your reputation and maybe leave you in some sort of uh, turmoil, financial turmoil message again. So this is about communication. Something about faith spirits. I'm getting like faith spirit energy with this pathway. So you've got faith, faith energy following you, surrounding you, guarding you. Hmm. Community, daily renewal. Main, male, and change. Came out sideways, in between pathway that's sideways and community. So for some of you, you do have someone, could be a masculine energy, whether you're male or female, that is very much addicted to stalking you. It's just a part of their daily routine. Gain stalking, gang stalking, gain with this change. Gain, gang stalking daily, recreating change. Someone wants to change this dynamic. They're tired of watching you from afar. They want to get closer to you. They just don't know how to do it. I feel like your community, wherever you are, is protected. Faith spirit is coming through very strong, so I don't know what's going on with that. Some of you could be seeing green differently. You might be, uh, usually you see green like bright, but now there's something like luminescent, something about lumin luminescent, luminous, I don't know. Imprisonment here, 29 is an 11. So the sudden wealth card is an 11. Someone could be facing imprisonment because of some sort of a scheme that brought them sudden quick money the money's run out someone's been caught there's a main male here that wants to get out of a community they want to come back to you you are always the one someone was always the one someone wants to be your one your everything pathway Pathway is 35, which is an 8. That's the false person in the Kipper deck. So let's just see what this is about. Pathway. I didn't see what that was. That flipped. It went back. Okay. Toil and labor. 38 is an 11. So again, 11. Sudden wealth is an 11. Imprisonment. 29 breaks down to an 11. So we've got 11, 11 energy coming through. Someone is uh, in, in a lot of trouble. They don't want to work this hard. Occupation, this could be a harsh working environment, underpaid, low wage, low wages. Someone feels stuck. This person could have lost a lot of prestige, could have separated from someone that had a lot of money. They lied on you. 
the money's running out there's drainage something about going down the drain you could have recently started a new line of business line of business meaning a new creative endeavor some of you are very very cre creative you're beginning to monetize your imagination monetizing your imagination concerned so someone's very concerned about how you think how you do see the world with this trusting heart and yet you're still fierce great fortune someone's very concerned about the money marriage courtship house someone's house is rotting the brick is turning white on the outside because the spirits within are uh, being depleted something about parasites there's a parasitic energy inside a home that is wrecking the home killing the house killing the house from the outside in someone's their energy is so wretched that they're literally a house killer wherever they move stuff just starts to fall apart that's how wretched this energy is could be whoever's gang stalking you or one of the gang stalk stalkers. This is more than one person, but you remain strong. You remain standing very firm. You could have excellent posture. <clears throat> Someone doesn't like how you walk. You walk your talk. You walk your talk. You speak your truth. Privileged lady, they will pay a heavy price. This price is heavy, yeah thief trying to steal from you trying to take you down Woo! false person concern so there's false people false people that are ooh. so we got some rich witchcraft elements here look at this i've never noticed this in this card so if you had the kipper you probably have noticed this, but I see a C and an M here. Someone's initials could be C and M. Sigils, S-I-G-I-L-S. -I -I lot of red here. Fire. Someone could have set a fire to a home to try to get some sort of insurance money. <coughs> They've been caught. So there's a thief. <clears throat> Feels like an energy vampire. We'll keep going, but we got false person overall. So there is a false person that some of you are dealing with or you have dealt with. Someone you don't want to continue dealing with. We'll just take this out and I'll put it, I'll put it here. So the false person is above change and main male that's going sideways. I want to get the uh, archetype deck just to see false person. False person C and M. So initials could be C, M or M, C. Exorcist landing sideways with this pathway here. So these gangs, this gang stalking energy could be reversed. It could be the fairies, whatever is going on with the fairies. <laughs> they got somebody on the run, someone that feels like they, they, uh, they can't get out of this. Fear of facing your own demons. Someone is seeing demons. They can't run, there's nowhere to run for a false person. They can't change the situation. Something's happened quite abruptly. There's a lot of concern in a community. Hmm. Gossip. Yep. There's a lot of concern in a community about a community. A lot of gossip going on. A lot of false information. People are seeing the dominoes fall where they may because they did not know how to keep their mouth shut about you lover someone's being gossiped about about a lover we did see in the kipper the lover with the lover's card with the mature woman the main male who's now out sideways <clears throat> so some sort of plan scheme completely has backfired 
people are being seen for the little trolls that they are, weak little trolls that can't do anything productive other than misuse their authority, their little funky positions in whatever corporate atmosphere they might be in. All they do is lie, pretend, yada, yada, yay, and now things have completely caught up with them. C and M. I don't know why I keep saying that. See them. You see them. You see them for who they are. You always have. Community. So someone is having to face demons. Yeah. Whoa. -ho -ho -ho. Look at that. Shapeshifter and trickster. Dang. Okay, so with you embody a childlike trusting heart, you trusted a group of people. They really tried to do a number on you. They did. For some of you, they stole a lot of money. Could be $24,000, $2,400. It could be $240,000, on and on and on. There's a community that stole a lot of money from you or they tried to, or they did, they did. For some, they did. They manipulated others, convinced themselves that it's what they deserve. Someone convinced themselves that they deserved your prosperity. Projecting any image that serves your personal agenda in the moment. These people have been doing this for a very long time, this false light community. Project, projecting themselves as this and trying to say that you're that. Meanwhile, you are the one that has this loving heart. You've always had it. Even when dealing with monsters, you've loved your monsters, your own demons. You've loved some of these people that have always been somewhat monstrous, but you saw something in them that light has almost dimmed completely out. Someone's light has almost dimmed completely out. Someone's blocking their own light. If you see this main male here, the light, this is a bigger sort of a light fixture. The head is like in the middle. So their light is blocked. Someone's blocking their own light, dealing with false environments, something about toxicity, in the body, parasitic. So someone's body's become very toxic. It's leaking out. It's infecting the home. Someone's body is infecting their home. Hmm. Prostitute. Well, that could be why. Prostitute and victim networker. So this could go and clean. So we're back in that energy of traffic. I'll just leave it at that, traffic. So there could be a lot of traffic going on in someone's home. It's poisoning the home. There's too many parasites. Could be a, a bed bug infestation. You could be seeing a lot of mattresses out on the sidewalk, in the alleyways, in certain neighborhoods. There's some sort of a bed bug infestation, but this is like a super bug. It's not regular bed bugs. It's some sort of engineered super bug infestation. It's making people's bodies toxic, shape shifting them. What? Quite odd. Let's get the tarot, see what else we get. Hmm. Something about infection, something's going viral, but not in the way someone wants. It's got to do with the fairies. This is so crazy. What is going on here? Huh. I have a fairy deck too. I don't know where it is. Let's go back to this. You live in God, so there is no singleness, only creation. You are a creator, a ma masterful manifester. Someone is realizing that now. Oh, these are these cards are all in the reverse. I'm going to put them in the upright. Four swords at the bottom. So civil unrest in some region. Could be UK and Germany. Six of, six of coins, ten of swords, both in the reverse. I'm going to put them back in the upright. 
you're not giving any more to a situation that's for sure you're not giving any more to a community could have to do with nonprofit. could have to do with volunteering you were spending a lot of time volunteering trying to clean up a community a neighborhood and then you realize you were working with a bunch of vultures something about housing housing vultures housing vultures hmm interesting message of concern eight of cups flipping out looking deeper withdrawal disappointment looking for the truth abandonment so someone does feel that you've abandoned them someone wanted you to feel that way someone who walked away from you wanted you to feel a sense of an abandonment you could have uh confided in this person about a tough childhood so they uh wanted to really stick it to you some kind of way might have left you at a time where you really thought that you were going to be able to uh depend on this person they did it very much on purpose not understanding your relationship to the the elements the elementals god earth Goddess, God energy, definitely coming through. Distant horizon. Someone can't see you anymore. Even in their dreams. Three of wands. So travel certainly could be at play here with this distant horizons. And the three of wands. Moving abroad. So some of you could be moving from UK to Germany. Or from Germany to the UK. Or from either of those regions to the States. Or... Somewhere else, Portugal, something about Portugal. Three of Wands, someone's traveling, wants to travel. Someone thinks that this new move will help change them. But wherever they go, they attract false people. This person that stalks you because they can't face their demons. Their demons are too strong. Someone's demons have overpowered them. They played the game too long. Someone played the game too long. Wise community, you embody a childlike trusting heart here. Mm. Four of coin, five of cups, and the hermit. So, yeah, financial security. Someone stayed with someone too long simply for financial security, finding out that this person was a thief and there was never any security, something about security. Grief, despair, guilt, remorse, focusing on negative emotions, isolation, solitude, guidance. You've you've gone through all of these, you've been going through all these different phases with this shapeshifter energy here, going through these levels of consciousness. You know, you've arrived to where you need to be. Mentally speaking, you're quite mentally fit. You've always been able to deal with these tricksters in ways that they have never been dealt with before. You're shocking a community. Something about shocking a community. And you do this single-handedly. Singleness. Only creation. Single-handedly through your creations, through your connection with divine source. What's this pulling out here? Three of Wands. Three of Wands. Three of Coin. So someone pulled out of a deal. Temperance. You could have had to pull out of a deal, a bad contract. You knew the contract was bad, but you wanted to see if someone was going to go through with it. You tested someone. They proved you right. You tested someone. You gave them an opportunity. They proved you right. Why is this false person, exorcist, change, main male here? Someone is having a really hard time shape-shifting into another persona. They've run out of ink. They've run out of masks. Something about ink. Ink spells. What? I've never heard of an ink spell, but I feel like that's what this is. Maybe it's like drawing on a piece of paper and then putting the paper in a bowl of water. Some kind of curse. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before. I just saw it. Someone's been writing your name. Putting the paper in a bowl of water. Hmm. 
That's just dang on bizarre, man. I've never heard of that before. Exorcist, spouse person, change. Could be a love spell. The high priestess came out sideways, flying over here. So y'all gotta, ooh. <laughs> I don't know why. I always laugh when stuff gets gully. Someone might not understand that about you. Like you laugh at, <laughs> you could laugh at what, you know, other people are like, why are you laughing? It's just, it's just how you release the energy. It's how you deal with things. For some of you, something about wasp. I'm hearing a tool, and it's uh, it sounds like a wasp nest or, or yeah, underground hornet's nest, something like that. So you're dealing with some underground energy. This high priestess is sideways. This high priestess is this false person that has casted some sort of whack spell on you and it backfired and now they're being haunted hunted by some sort of fey energy that might be new to this planet i don't know i priest is sideways or this spell could have been to just simply try to uh kill your intuition someone's been trying to kill your instu intuition institution trying to have you put in an institution Someone now feels like they need to be institutionalized or they're being threatened to be institutionalized. Let's keep going. You are annoyed by the gang stalking, but unafraid. Unafraid because you are a warrior. Death. Oh. Death is landing on change and main mail sideways. So this could have been a death spell backfired knight of coins so someone's death spell backfired and now it's uh seeping the ink is seeping off the paper slowly it's blending in the water something about the water something about the fire fire in the water death transformation this transformation isn't the transformation this person wanted something backfired some sort of spell, for sure, backfired with exorcist, sideways, high priestess, sideways, death in the upright, false person in the upright. This is a calamity. Calamity. Hmm. Isn't there a, a figure, some Calamity Jane or... Jane, yeah, Calamity Jane. Oh my gosh, I don't know who that is, but I remember it from childhood. So this dog on whoever the hell this is could be some sort of false person, Calamity Jane type of character. I'm gonna have to look that up. Calamity Jane. Okay, someone's name could be Jane. Huh. Pathway, gang stalking. Oh, this just went in the reverse next to Thief. King of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, someone has lost all of their mind. All of their mind. Seven of Swords. So there's a King of Cups in the reverse that landed next to this trick thief right here, trickster here. So this is a community of thieves. This is like some Wild West type of absolute nonsense involving victim victimization, a network of vic, uh, victimizers here with this network victim and prostitute cars. Those cars there, there is a feminine energy at the helm. We got mentor behind queen and child wounded. So this is indeed some sort of network of vile parasitic energies there is a queen wasp at the helm of the nest it's a network it's been found out they're turning against each other trading information everybody's been blackmailing each other so now they're releasing the information this is on a macro level 
Things aren't what they seem. People that you might be applauding one day are going to turn out the next day to be absolutely vile. A lot of thieves, seven of swords, king of swords, eight of cups here, hierophant, justice. There will be justice served on the macro level. These storylines, these plots that have been playing out, that have been replaying, have run their course. Something's run their course. People aren't going to tolerate much more. Hmm. Interesting. So there's a lot of stories breaking out. Something breakout. This could be a, a breakout, an a prison breakout that actually was uh, orchestrated, deliberate. Something about infesting communities, a community infestation. Okay. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, King of Pentacles, Seven of Coin, Seven of Swords again. There's a masculine energy, someone in their masculine energy, someone that loves you, wants to invest in you, but they are, they're dirty. They're trying to escape the connections that they're in. Someone doesn't want you to know about these lower frequency connections that they've been engaging with. Five of Swords, like I said, there's a community of thieves, foes, People in need of an exorcist, they're being haunted, hunted by elemental spirits, something about the elements. It's got to do with different levels of consciousness, tricking of the mind, that mind control energy that we saw is not working. Seven of Swords peeking at the bottom. So a lot of thievery, a lot of deception coming to the surface. Ten of Cups at the bottom. You will stay free. This is about maintaining your freedom. Not falling in the pits of earthly hell when it comes to dealing with some of these things. Because they are, their bodies are infected. Their bodies are so infected that they're contaminating homes. Be careful who you allow in your home. Wise privileged lady thief here. They will pay a very heavy price for lying on you. <laughs> the falling tower. I mean, it does not get much clearer than that. So there is a king of cups because this kind of landed right beneath the king of cups and this privileged lady here. So there's a king of cups that was working with someone else, false person, two people in this card, a, a fake high priestess, okay, whatever the hell, that tower is not even, it's, it's going to continue to fall. Something's going to continue to fall. Two of clubs. Someone is trying to figure a way out. It's like a, a fire where the staircases have been burned the front and back staircases that actually happened to a building not far from here. Um, the people had to jump out the window, which you have here with the tower, jump out the window because the staircases, the front and the back were both set on fire. So someone does not have a way out of whatever situation this is that has to do with causing you a lot of harm on all levels. Trying to tap into your consciousness. And it could be because they were hiding their preferences. You found out. You found out something that has to do with this child wounded here. Okay? And you are this child divine, always protected. And so you know you're here in part to protect the children. So we'll just get some, uh, let's see why this false person, I mean, we kind of already know what the situation is all about. Um, very nefarious. Things continue to come to the surface. Something about ink spells. I'll have to look that up. I'm sure there's one or something like that. I don't know why I was seeing that like that, but someone definitely was using ink on paper and water to try to... Uh, Distort your energy, maybe, obviously. Okay, false person. 
Are these in the upright? Psychic attack as I split the deck. So, false person here. No, psychic attack. So, false person psychically attacking you. They're not strong enough. They're not, oh, here, look, we've got, they can do what they want with their life. They cannot do what they want with, with yours. So, yeah, on the macro level, they can do all they want with their lives, but they cannot control the collective. High priestess. No, we'll go false person. False person. Manhunter. Manhunter. I told you, with this pathway here sideways, I've never ever read this deck and gotten fairies from this card the way I did today. Here we've got new love in the reverse. So someone tried to, yeah, on the run. Whoever this is, whoever these false people are, this community of false people, they're on the run. Manhunter. Yep, I'm worn out from groaning all night long. I fled my bed with weeping and drenched my cheek with tears. They are worn out. 6-6 six, six energy. They're worn out. Manhunter. Hmm. Wow. This is intense. Intense. Community. <clears throat> Celebr, ooh, ooh, on the macro level, community. These are celebrities. Oh. <laughs> Woo. You've shown me what life is and what life isn't. Thank you, my love. Willful ignorance is poking out in AI video. AI video, celebrity. So this is a, a community of celebrities. They're outing each other. They're, there's a celebrity that's on the run. So that might be under the radar and like whatever videos are being seen is AI. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but I knew this was, wow. Trick, trickster, shapeshifter, these celebrities, they are, they're, they're assets. They're assets. They're being outed. There's nowhere for them to run with this hermit here. Ooh. So yeah, what I've come to realize with this particular deck, only this deck, if this is like a real time deck, because I do like end up seeing storylines playing out like within a day or two often when it comes to some of these cards that come out. So this is a tricky deck right here. Let's get one more card. I just realized I didn't silence my phone and so I don't wanna get any sort of calls or messages that are gonna interrupt this reading because I don't edit my videos because I just don't know how. <laughs> she lied on you to keep this man away. New love is in the reverse, so. <clears throat> for some of you oh political spectrum so we got political spectrum celebrities <clears throat> for some of you um there was a there is or was a feminine energy that lied on you to stop a, a, a love a divine connection it backfired on them it continues to backfire on them so if this is something that was done to you six years ago this person is still going through hell because of what they did. You've shown me what life is and what life isn't. Thank you, my love. I'm That car's showing up again. So there is someone that does want to thank you. You've shown them a different sort of way of looking at life, viewing life, as they could for some be uh, nearing their end. Something about nearing their end. Yeah, as I say that, we got the freaking ambulance here with elite on the dog on ooh, and i don't like to refer to a certain community as the elite because honey they are not the elite okay but the elite just went by in an ambulance oh yes final messages for the collective we are going ooh, this is the wrong deck 
But we do have Star Seed, ooh, Shadow Self, and Nagas. Yeah, it's going down. There's some sort of prostitution ring, celebrity prostitute. Ooh, yeah. Okay, final message. <laughs> Victory! Do you see how that popped out? Archangel Sandifon, your your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Have faith with this process. Overcoming difficulties. You've made it this far. You'll continue to move forward. Archangel Jeremiah, the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. So, yeah, you know, this game is worth playing. That's for sure. We got Mexico. This game is worth playing. Sinkhole. So there could be a sinkhole, big old sinkhole in Mexico. Brainwashed lifestyle guru. So someone was brainwashed by some fake lifestyle guru. Could be a bunch of celebrities got uh, used some, yeah, some fake guru and got all their money taken. Brainwashed, sinkhole. Yeah. Just gutter energy, political spectrum. Now we got this zombie street drug. I'm telling you, I was talking about the parasites. These parasites are coming from every which way. Here we are back to square one of the reading. Three, 30 minute walks, 30 minute read, 30 minute hobby. So going back to the beginning of the reading with that um, daily practices. Your daily practices are very important, especially if you are going through any sort of changes in your life that could feel harsh. Destitute and depraved. So yeah, this uh, weaponry that's being used now in the spiritual warfare, it's, it's, it's dangerous. Someone's dreams are, they live in fear in their dreams. Someone's in fear in their dreams. Pathological liar. Okay, well, we could just go on and on forever, but this is what the reading is for today. I'll see you guys soon in another one.